Here the question is, you have designed test cases to provide 100% statement and 100% decision coverage for the following fragment of code. That means for this code, test case is available and that test case covers 100% statement coverage and decision coverage. To this code, the following has been added to the bottom of the code fragment above. Now we have to find how many more test cases are required. Let's understand this question clearly. Initially, we had this code. And for this code, we had test cases to cover statement coverage and decision coverage. After that, new code was added. And now we have to find if we need test cases to cover this new piece of code. If yes, then how many new test cases we need? These are the options. A. One more test case will be required for 100% decision coverage. B. Two more test cases will be required for 100% statement coverage, one of which will be used to provide 100% decision coverage. C. None. Existing test cases can be used. D. One more test case will be required for 100 statement coverage. First, we will analyze the code and draw flowchart for it. Line number one is a condition. If width is greater than length, we represent condition like this in the flowchart. Now let's see line number two and three. Then, biggest dimension equals two width. Since it is a statement, we have to represent it like this. That means, if this condition is true, this branch will be executed. Now let's analyze line number 4 and 5, which is else biggest dimension equals length. This is how we have to represent it in flowchart. Else means if the condition becomes false, this statement will execute. And the sixth line is end if. That means condition on line number one ends here. This is how we have to draw the flowchart. Now, as per the question, the test cases are already available. But in the test case, it's not mentioned how many test cases are required for 100% statement coverage and decision coverage. So before adding the code, we have to find the number of test cases. It's clear that with two test cases, we can cover both statements and both conditions too. Now let's add the new code at the end. You can see that all these are statement. We can represent these statements like this in the flowchart. If you run the existing test case, new code will be covered with it. That means we don't have to write any new test cases to cover new code. That is why option B is the answer.